Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I got a brief for you guys showing you guys how to black out your bow ties to turn this goldish area into black, making it look way more nicer and match with the blue and black clean I got going on. You can also buy black bow ties online from GM and they cost around 150 bucks, so this is a way to save you about 150 bucks, which is pretty awesome. All right, so the things that you're going to need is some newspaper, magazine paper, or some regular paper, some masking tape or painter's tape, it needs some gloss black paint. I recommend the Krylon Paint and Primer. The gloss black looks really nice. It has a really nice gloss finish to it and it turns out really good. And when you go to buy paint, do not buy the Rust-Oleum's gloss black paint because it is not gloss black. It's some bullshit ass paint because it ends up like a matte finish. So just don't buy this shit. Just throw that shit away if you actually bought it. Do not get that, okay? <laughs> All right, so your first step on this one you want to take some masking tape, cover up everything around the logo, and just get it perfectly. Try to push it into the edges to try to get like a perfect finish. You just want to make it look professional as possible, nice and clean, not all spotty and shit like that. And when you're covering everything up with some newspaper or anything like that, you want to make sure you cover up your entire car and then some, because when you spray some spray paint, it goes in the air and kind of flakes around, so you don't want anything settling on your car and getting any paint on your car at all. And to make sure you cover it nice and flushly, put a little tape over the edge of it. And once you're done taping it down, take your fingernail or just a credit card or something small and slim. And just literally go in, and press it down, make it nice and flush. All right, now she's all wrapped up. I'll cover it up. Get your rattle can, you cut the front all taped up. So the same thing as the back. Take like 30 seconds. I want to do light coats and wait about 20 minutes between each coat to get a nice even look. Make sure not to hold your spray pan too close so it doesn't bubble up or nothing. And just slightly do some coats. Quick process, doesn't take too long at all. The biggest thing is just waiting for it to dry. Put it three coats in the back. About to do the front right now. Let it dry overnight. Do three coats tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. I'll do a couple more coats and see how it looks. Officially day three, I have to go on the paper and check it out. On the back, you see I did a pretty decent job. It's just like a regular black bow tie. This little spot right here, so I gotta touch that up. If you see around the corner, there is some black spots from overspray. So you can easily take that off with some glue gun or some solvent, just don't get down the paint of the car. As you see in the front, Here's some over right here I had to take off. Some minor spots on the little edge you gotta to touch up. And there's some over right here. Probably from spraying too close or spraying too much. You can take some sandpaper and wet sand a little bit to take it off. You guys pretty much get the gist of it though. All you need to do is get some fine grit sandpaper, some water, wet sand a little bit, get that little over spray off, touch it up, make sure it's all nice, and it's pretty much all done. Take a look at it in the sun though. Hope you guys like this video. If you'd like to subscribe for more, see you next time.